Today we're going to be animating the car, this rigged car, 3D car in Storyboard Pro. I'm going to left click while holding the command button to select the body on its own, separate from the wheels. And then I'm moving the orbiting center to the back of the car, the car's body. It won't affect the main orbiting center or the main orbiting uh, circle. Only when you select the body of the car will you see the, the difference in the, in the change of the orbiting the orbit center. So with that selected I'm able to and also with the orbiting uh, position where it is I can move the car as if the, the nose of the car is going to pop up and as you see I've made a, a, a few panels so in uh, Storyboard Pro you have to manually time out your panels so I'm just gonna go and do go ahead and do that and position my car and you have to have a, a bit of uh, an idea of animation some skill in it. Uh, it's a good way to practice. And I'll just go through and uh, loop what I've done. So I can do it a few times. I want it to go a bit longer for a bit longer. With all of my animated panels right where I want them, I'm most likely not going to use any tweening animation uh, to move the asset. If I wanted to make the car seem like it was moving, I would instead move the ground or the environment. Um, I would also have the option of moving the camera, which I'm going to do uh, right now. So you can see how you can maintain a certain amount of movement in your, sh in your shot. In my other videos, I show you how to import, export uh, FBXs into Storyboard Pro from Blender. I highlight the best ways to rig your 3D assets in Blender, um, exporting it the proper way and also importing it to Storyboard Pro. So go check that out. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.